Don't Sports Talk Worldwide with the news from World of Boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, some good little heavyweight news. You know, your boy Chris Ariola. We like some Chris Ariola because he's straight up, right? You know, and uh, he's coming off a win. And so he was asked about a fight, you know, what if uh, Vitaly, you know, or Vitaly Klitschko, right? Fight Deontay Wilder. Shoot, man, your boy <laughs> Chris Ariola said, there's only one way that's coming out. You know, not only will Vitaly Klitschko beat Deontay Wilder, but he'll demolish him. Right? He says, you know, this is, he's just, Vitaly is just a different animal. You know what I'm saying? He said, he also, he's easily the smartest fighter he ever fought. Right? And, you know, when you look into that, you look at that opinion, it's coming from a good place. You know, De um, your boy, he's never really hated on Wilder or nothing like that, Chris Ariola. He, you know, he's been beat by Wilder too. Vitaly beat him, but when he was undefeated, okay? Thought he was the bomb at the time, about 27, 28 and old or something, messing around with Vitaly, it ain't gonna happen, right? So, that's his opinion about it. Like, you know, he, he would demolish Deontay Wilder. And I know where he's coming from on that. I don't totally agree with demolish because I think Deontay Wilder wouldn't fight him. Like, for example, how he fought Tyson Fury, just knowing he's going to get him out of there. Deontay Wilder would know he's fighting, you know, Dr. Iron Fist, right? We're talking dude 45 and, and two with 40, for what, 40 knockouts or something? Something like that. You know what I'm saying? 45 and two with 41 knockouts. Right? And don't let that too get twisted like, oh, those knockout losses. Uh-uh. I don't know why he quit. He quit on his stool on round nine, beating Chris Ariola, beating him up. And I think it was a 10-round fight or a 12-round fight. He only had one or two rounds where he could have just came out with one shoulder. His shoulder was out. But he's a doctor. He probably knew exactly what happened. But that's still, you can walk out there with one hand and jab Chris, Chris Bird. Chris Bird ain't got no punch of power. He was just hiding from you the whole fight. So he could have done that. I don't understand why he done that. And the other one was the uh, infamous Lennox Lewis fight, where his eyeball almost fell out. Now he was leading on the scorecards, but Lennox had done that eye up. And see, Lennox was see Lennox <laughs> messed around and wasn't motivated for Vitaly because he didn't know him at the time that much. He was supposed to be fighting Kirkland. Messed around. You don't mess around and and don't take Vitaly, Vitaly Klitschko, not that Klitschko. That's the Klitschko that you hit and you get him upset. You, you just piss him off. You ain't, this is the one with the chin. This is a Vladimir, as good as he is, with a chin. Jab is not as good, but his upper body movement is better. Right? Back in the day, oh, the Klitschko reign was boring. Man, with, with 45 and 2, with 41 KOs is boring. And I do it most of the time with my hands down, the upper body movement, taunting, and then knocking people out. I don't know what's boring about that. And he fought a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people. You know what I'm saying? You look at them now, just little dudes, you know. Because I was thinking, you know, the English cats, you know, Herbie Hyde is similar to Deontay Wilder. Just smaller, but the same kind of build, skinny guy with a whole lot of power that people just was like, you know, he's knocking out bigger dudes. Herbie was, I think, undefeated. You know, handling his business. Herbie Hyde, come on, laugh. unless you're young, you don't know. British, y'all better you go do your homework on your own homeboy. Herbie Hyde wasn't all that bad. But V2 just was a little bit too big. This dude's six seven. About 245 because there wasn't no fat on him. <clears throat> Dude, made Herbie Hyde look a little, you know, like, dang, you too little to be up in here. And then everybody who he was facing, didn't matter who, right? Didn't matter who and where. He fought everywhere. So this is Dr. Iron Fist for a reason. And I'm just saying, you know, uh, this kind of fighter, I understand where Chris Ariola is coming from, where he's talking about, uh, you know, Vita B. Klitschko would demolish Deontay Wilder. Now, Deontay Wilder, y'all know I roll with some Deontay for all the right reasons. Anybody in boxing that's trying to fight in everybody, that's all you can ask. Anybody in here that's testing themselves, like a Mikey Garcia, you know, for example. You know, we, oh, he lost to Errol Spence, and oh, so, so something's all, he's tainted. Get up out of here. I'm four division champion, and I wasn't supposed to beat Broner neither, right? Wasn't supposed to beat Broner neither. Let's stop acting like that. I went up to beat him, right? Then, Sir Guy Lippinus stayed up and took care of Lippinus. Lippinus is looking pretty good right about now after taking care of Lamont Peterson and putting him in retirement, right? Well, Mikey took care of that guy and was smaller than him, right? So, it ain't no, no ain't nothing. Mike Garcia is still all that and a couple of bag of chips. We give him a bag of Doritos because he's got some special chips. 
Mikey Garcia is still that. He's testing himself. Anybody that's doing that is anybody. Yeah, it was Spence, too. He wants to become undisputed. Terrence Crawford wants to become undisputed. Like I said, back to Deontay Wilder. I want to become undisputed. Hey, Alexander Uzik is undisputed. Okay? And did it the hard way at everybody else's house. Those kind of people. Guillermo Rigondeaux. Whole divisions just left. Made the whole boxing industry just say, well, we got to hate on him because we can't just hate on all these other 25ers that don't want to fight him. They done formed a union. <laughs> they ain't going to fight him. So we just got to blackball this one. And just did it. And people are always good with it. No. All them fighters going to get love. And Deontay is one of them. He's the guy I say he deserves a movie for what he, you know, for his life up until now. And that was when I was, when he fought the main Stavur in the first fight. So, you know, I rolled with Deontay because he's handling his business. The Joshua negotiations, definitely you could see who wants to fight, see who wanted to fight Tyson Fury. He's done exemplary behavior for a fighter, period. And I'm a skinnier than all of y'all. Y'all running. So, no, no slight there. Never for Deontay Wilder. But at the end of the day, when you're talking Vika Klitschko versus Deontay Wilder, I'm going with Vika Lee twice. Okay, two out of three. Just like I say, Lennox Lewis beats anybody in the history of the game. Two out of three, because it's heavyweights, things can happen. Even them little guys that I'm kind of slight, like the Rock, Marky, Rock, uh, Rocky Marciandos, Joe Lewis's and stuff like that. I know they're awesome and stuff. They're little. You know, so, but they're going to get you once or twice. Even Tyson, he's going to get you. You know, you're going to be hard-pressed to beat Tyson 2 out of 3. But I think Lennox Lewis is one of the few who I would say that with. Right? And Vitaly is in my top 5. Vitaly, because he has a chin. And he's 6'7". Right? And he keeps throwing punches from wherever. Right? And got an attitude problem. Right? And don't mess around and beat up his little brother. Because then you definitely get beat. You know, Corey Sanders and Ross Pierre, they tell you that story about that. Man, he must have beat up his little brother, man. I mean, beat up his brother in, in Ukraine. That really pissed him off. He beat me up real bad. Part purity and stuff. Thing is, he is uh, good. He's good enough to have, to have a good fight against a Deontay Wilder. It would be a barn burner. But like I say, for people that think, right, just won't believe their eyes and think, well, Deontay Wilder is the only the right hand. That well, you, uh, well, if you just watch the Tyson Fury fight, then you have all the right to believe that because that's what it looked like against Tyson Fury. It looked like I'm running around here with my right hand cocked the whole fight. No, that's not necessarily. I asked Chris Ariola, he knows what he's talking about. This guy can jab and do other things, but you know, he, when he thinks he can get you out of there, he does. I think the fight would be very competitive if they fought three times, be very competitive because Deontay Wilder would respect Vitali Klitschko, right. He would respect him. So through this respect, would have more of a chess match than people think. Now, Deontay Wilder would also realize, okay, I can hit anybody with this right hand and knock him out. But there's a good possibility that I'm going to hit him with this right hand and he's going to just look at me and come back with a two-punch combination from places. So he's going to be some respect there. And because of that respect, it'll be a very, very competitive fight. I agree with Ariola to a certain extent. I don't think nobody demolishing Deontay Wilder, period. You have to prove it. But Deontay Wilder is not the best heavyweight I've ever seen or anything like that. And I do think he has a heart, but he's still got some ways to go before I just say, oh, he beats Vitaly Klitschko, uh, two out of three, or beats him every time or whatever. Like mm. Now I go Vitaly Klitschko, two out of three against Deontay Wilder up until now. But Deontay Wilder still proving some stuff, so hold up on that. We'll talk about that in about three years. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I am up out of here, y'all.